Tim Potter, George. Um, I hate to correct you, but you are honest. You're a socialist, George, and you're a good one. Um, there's only a chance you can get together with Tony Benn and you're not the left, which will pass time in the war. We can actually become a force. You know, Mr. Benn is the, the best uh, Prime Minister we, we never had. He's uh, a spiritual, ideological, political leader for me. I've been with him for uh, almost 30 years. If he'd become the deputy leader of the Labour Party, I would have moved to London as one of his... Uh, Stand. I'm second to none in my love for and affection for and admiration for Mr. Ben. But he's now 83. Uh, he's still marching, but uh, even he would say that he's the future. And he is irrevocably now wedded to the Labour Party. He will never leave it. His son is a cabinet minister. Well, it must be very difficult on the Sunday dinner table, I must say. His son supports the war. I saw him on question time defending the use of cluster bombs, which the government has now agreed to abolish. I wonder if there's someone like Hillary Benn replay the video of that question time and watch themselves defending cluster bombs as a legitimate weapon, now, now that their own government has just agreed to abolish them as inhuman and if they feel ashamed. This sense that I've stumbled upon here, feeling ashamed, is something that I really ask those who are still involved in new labor politics. Have you no sense of shame? At what point does shame become so unbearable that you can no longer be a part of something as shameful as that. I believe in shame and sin and these concepts. As you know, as a regular listener, I'm a religious person. And you can be forgiven for sins, but only if you confess them and accept that they were sins and promise that you will do everything that you can not to commit that sin again. In the case of new labor, it's a sin a week. And so, Mr. Ben, I think, is not likely to join up with us, except in the anti-war movement in its broadest sense. But in any case, at 83, his uh, marching days cannot last forever. What we need is these young people here who are now, emerging into the light of knowledge to follow the correct path. And I travel around the country all the, with all the breath that God gives me to try and indicate what that path uh, 